Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the wonderful land of the Netherlands, where we are in a couple small wars. No big deal. We're annexing our vassal, Molly, and we have room for another relationship. That's going to be Brandenburg. He is the new emperor. He doesn't like us that much, but he is friendly. So hopefully... Oh, there we go. Back to friend. Back to, ha back to happy. Hopefully we can get him super happy, so we'll take an alliance and uh, just be awesome. How far do our colonial tendrils spread? Not very far. We're starting to get through Canada, but we have a long way to go through uh, North America. It's just gonna be—it's gonna take some time. We'll do our best, damn it. We'll do our best. We're currently sieging up South America. We're at war with three provinces down here. We'll hopefully give all that to Peru and Colombia. I'm sorry, to the Lama Republic and Colombia. We're also sieging up Central America, which we're gonna give to United Sombreros. In fact, why don't we go help Siege? Go help Siege. Oh, hello. Exploring is awesome. Go see who the hell that... I think that's going to be a Cinebowini, isn't it? All right, who the hell is this, and what do you want? Concede defeat. No. Oh, shit. Calvinism in the Netherlands. In a clerical meeting in Dordrecht, 1618. That was a long time ago. Hardline Calvinism was made a state religion. Okay. Oh, shit, look at this. We can see Alaska. I'm sorry, that's not Alaska. That's fucking Russia? Castile is in Russia, everyone. Oh, Jesus. Castile's colonizing Russia. Wow, does that suck donkey balls. Um, yeah, I'm not okay with that. Not not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Anyway. Ba -ba -ba -bum. This was the end of a long struggle between pluralistic and humanistic factions. The, Ar the Arminians and a dogmatic, narrow-minded, true Calvinistic faction, the Gomerists. Moritz of Oranian supported the Gomerists, composed mainly of petty bourgeois and farmers, while Oldenbarnveld Olden, Olden supported the Arminians, composed of intellectuals and rich bourgeois. Okay, so if we go with the Gomerists, we get more expensive stability, but more tolerance. If we go with Arminians, we get more expensive stability and more tolerance. I guess I'm going to go with the Gomerists. I mean, it's the same fucking thing. Yeah, tolerate the true faith more than anything else. All right, all right, Brandenburg, come on, man. You and me, you and me, we can be friends. Can't we be friends? Yep. See you, Frederick. Have a good night. You don't like my pronunciation of a any? Well, that's just too bad. That is just too bad. Hmm, oh! Platinet lost some land. I didn't even notice that, but yeah, the Platinet just lost some land. Lulz. Sucks to be you, Platinet. How goes our English channel? Ah, we need more trade here. We just need more trade. We need more trade on Lubeck as well. We need more trade fleets. Why am I not building trade fleets? Hmm. How are we on tech? Oh, we're only three years ahead. Okay. We're close. We're close to tech enough. Yay, more culture conversions. So this entire area is going to be Dutch. This is beautiful. Oh my god, the Pope's going to get full annexed by Naples. God damn it, Pope. Yeah, we're almost at 999 points, but we can spend some on some buildings. 
We're good at spending points, right? We could also up our stability if we really wanted to spend points. But we're only three years ahead, so we should be okay. Seven per month. Yeah, we should be okay. We'll just keep buying buildings. Finally upgrading the capital. <laughs> Gomerists are the real Dutch. Armin Arminianists are nothing but hipsters. Oh, okay. Good to know. Are you saying you don't like hipsters? Because if we get California, we're going to have to rename it Hipsterville. Oh, we're almost done. Con we're almost done culture converting Boner Man. Nice. Steel's king just died while he's at war. The Pope will cede Abruzzi to Naples and Bari. Milan will cede Brescia to Austria. Oh shit, Milan lost land. Wow. Mil Milan will cede Gores to Venice. Oh wow, look at that. Okay. So Milan actually got weaker. Interesting. That was unexpected that Milan got weaker. Austria has rivaled us again. Okay. No, we're not at the admin cap yet. We'll get there eventually, but we're not there yet. In the meanwhile, we're going to keep on building admin buildings. We're now only two years ahead, right? Yeah, two years. Okay. I don't like teching up early unless you really, really have to. Okay, looks like we have our CB on C. Yeah, can I just go siege him really fast? I think we can. Yeah, he's got no allies. Fuck him up. He's got a two-star general. whoop de fucking do Where's your two-star general now, punk? My daddy can beat up your daddy. Hey, we culture converted boner man. Nice. Where the hell is our stat holder? Oh, he's over here. Okay. You guys are toast, am I right? Nope, only 99. We gotta finish that siege. Alright. All right, colonist arrived in Saskatchewan. Nice. Who the hell? Kiowa. Hi, Kiowa. Well, it's good that California doesn't have any land up here yet. But uh, since he's in... <laughs> since Castile's over here colonizing Siberia, we're probably pretty sure he has the entire coast up here. It really sucks, but oh well. Oh well. Siege up that crap. This is almost done. And then over here, I will give you mine Freund. I'll give you my king, my stat holder. Well, he's not a king. Well, he's sort of a king. He's an orangist, isn't he? Or is he a status? No, he's 100% orangist. Yeah. He's, he's technically a king. He just doesn't smell like a king. But he walks like a king, and he talks like a king. So he's a king. Now this should be almost done here in Quito. We can piece him out. Austria's at war with Pomerania. That's fun. Even Russia's in that war. What? Russia joined Pomerania war against Austria. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't cause problems for us since we're allied to Russia. Now we'll see, I guess. Siak? Yeah, we're gonna go kill Siak. Why not? Don't destroy your German hometown? Well, just don't tell me where it is, and then I can't destroy it. Simple as that. <laughs> okay, keep converting. 
Look at this, this list of shit to convert's almost gone. It's almost entirely gone. Also, I need to fabricate on Brunei. This guy's gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Do I have any claims on him? No. So yeah, we gotta do all that. We also need to fabricate on Pasai, but there's no real rush. We need to spread our wars out so that no one coalitions us. Come on, 56 and you keep failing. Stop failing at 56. He's been there forever. What achievement are we working on? We're working on a pile of gold, and that'll finish as soon as our colony, I'm sorry, as soon as our vassal Molly has been annexed, we'll have a pile of gold. Pretty sure that'll be 10, because he has three. Yeah, that should be 10. A sex, you are looking very sexy. I'm, I think I'm going to convert a sex. Nah, English is fine. It's okay. We tolerate the English. We tolerate them. A little bit. We tolerate them a little bit. Give everything to the United Sombreros. Give all this to the Lama Republic. And if you would kindly finish up Quito, we could piece that shit out. But you keep failing at fucking coin flip. Stop failing the coin flip. Okay, colonists arriving in New Zealand. Very good. Give all that shit to the sombreros. How come no one sieged this province? I'm going to go do that. This is stupid. Why is no one sieging the nation that we declared war on? I don't know. I don't know, but it don't make no sense. All right, Quito has fallen, finally. Come back from Brittany. Let's go finish this war. Hungary will cede Zbalks, Samogi, and Zemplen to the Ottomans. So Hungary got fucked, but then again, they're fighting the Ottomans. I don't know what they expected. Shit, 50 Diplo. Hopefully that doesn't take out of my Diplo. It did. That that spent my 50 Diplo. That's bullshit. I transferred it to my colony and it still spent my 50 Diplo for that peace deal. Fuck that. Seriously, that's bullshit. And it was grayed out saying it's not supposed to spend my points, but it did spend my points. It did. The early... The English nearly made the Irish extinct, did they? Are, are you saying that the English are the cause of the potato famine? I'd believe you if you said it. Where's our explorer? Can I steal him? I need to steal my explorer. I'm sorry, conquistador. Done. And I want him over here, right? Yeah. So we can go explore this way. And we should head over here and see what we can find as far as California. Anyway, Quito, you've existed for too long, my friend. It is time to die. See, now it says zero. That's because we declared on him instead of on the other guy. One more native gone. And there goes Siak. 
So we're ready to piece out these clowns. If only we had a diplomat. If I only had a brain. Oh wow, this shit must be a level four. It's a level three. Really? Fucking level three fort in a Native American. Are you kidding? Did any of the Central Americans have like really big forts? Because level three fort is nothing to shake a stick at. And holy crap, Portugal is beating the crap out of Castile. Oh, Portugal, take take his lands. Take all of it. Eat him. Vassalize him. Annex him. Make him your bitch. Oh shit, France down to plus 80. Something changed. Something really changed. He says we're neighbors. It says we have a neighboring province. I don't think we have any neighboring provinces, France. We shouldn't be at negative 40 for that. It shouldn't be neighboring. It should only be the negative 20. Even Milan said, oh, oh, over here. Okay, over here we do we do neighbor Milan, but we don't neighbor France. We don't neighbor France anywhere. Damn it, game. We are not neighboring France. Yeah, it should be negative 20, like the Commonwealth, negative 20. We don't neighbor France. We don't. We do. Oh, shit. France is colonizing right next to me. Well, there you go. There's where the, there's where the negative 40 is coming from. That sucks. Because that negative 40 is going to be there for the rest of the game. That sucks. Ah, jeez. Alright, let's go peace out Siak. That'll spend some of our admin points. Only 22 and 22. Okay, that'll spend a little bit of admin points. Not, not a whole lot. but we'll spend it where we can. And we do have a claim on Malacca. Oh, no, we don't. I thought I was fabricating. Oh, that's right. I, I canceled the fabrication. Right. I forgot about that because I am bad. But that's okay. We'll just get the fabrication going again. We need to eat Malacca. Important center of trade. Very useful province. Very rich province, believe it or not. Pop a vassal out of the Congo people? Uh, no, they wouldn't be vassals. They would be protectorates. So I'm not going to do it. They would spawn with whatever tech group they had last time. And last time they had sub-Saharan. So that's what they'll spawn with, which means they'll be a protectorate. France, why did you have to colonize right next to me? That was stupid of you. That was very stupid of you, France. You're a stupid man, France, and please don't kill me for saying it. But it's the truth. The truth hurts. Almost done with these idiots. How goes the exploring? He stopped. Okay. He stopped because he, he found the Pawnee. Alright, well there's the wasteland right there. So we need to get Arapaho next. And then we need to go around the wasteland down to the coast. And that'll block him off from the interior. And we also need to head over here and go up the coast. It's going to take some doing. But I think it's achievable. I think we can do it. We can get it done. Get her done. Also, Brandenburg is no longer friendly. And he also considers me to be allied with great powers again. All right. 
just keeps changing all the time. His opinion just wildly inexplicable. Well, at least we're exploring more shit. This is good. This is good. Alright, Diplomat is back. Can you please finish this fucking siege? Please. Ah, we keep failing. Come on, man. I got stuff to do. I can't sit in sieges all day. And I'm not going to peace out this idiot independently because it'll just cost me Diplo points if I do that. And I'm not willing to spend Diplo points because I'm a cheap bastard. Come on. Damn it. We're reaching coin flip region, and we're still not done. I can annex Burgundy? I'm not going to annex Burgundy. He still has cores to feed, and he provides a buffer between me and France, which is great. Oh, you're saying that since France has colonized next to us, we might as well just annex Burgundy. Yes and no. Yes, it would mean because it doesn't matter anymore. We have a permanent negative 40 with France now. But no, because there's still the possibility that France will lose that colony down there. And I'm kind of holding out hope that he'll lose it. France, lose your fucking colony, you sack of shit. Damn it, France. Come on, coin flip. Coin flip. Coin flip? Coin flip? Also, it's probably time to tack up. Damn it, we failed the coin flip. It is time to tack up. Woohoo! Lovely. Ooh, new units. <gasps> Reform Tertio! Alright, now what do we want? Gustavian, Tertio, or Highlanders? Ooh, man. Gustavian's nice because it's 333. 333, 2 2 Yep, Gustavian it is. I like it. Come on, coin flip! Coin flip! Are we going to stop once we get the gold achievement? Um, maybe? Because we have El Dorado coming out tomorrow, so it might make sense just to uh, close this series out with El Dorado coming out tomorrow. But we don't have to. Alright. Come on back from Francy Pants. And let's peace out. Aragon declared war on Castile. Everyone's declaring war on Castile. I love it. Alright, that's going to do. Take all of your cash, and this shouldn't cost me any Diplo at all. Yep, nothing. Sweet. United Sombreros grows, and his revolt risk is 20% everywhere. Alright, well, I'll put some dudes to try to help with your revolt risk. Oh, he's culture converting. He's culture converting as well. He gives no fucks for the native cultures at wall. Look at that. He's converting everything to Dutch culture. Wow. I can't say I disapprove. That is pretty awesome of you. Yeah, we didn't take the problem. The, the southernmost problem. I, I knew that it was going to cost more than 100% to it. Science guy is saying we didn't change the uh, ownership of this province to our colony. And he's right. But I knew that we couldn't full annex them anyway because they just had too much land. So I just didn't bother. Didn't bother. But you're right. Okay, finished a colony. Very good. Which means we can now go to Arapaho. Fantastic. Yeah, up here it's very wild. We're going to have to get to this... This mountain range right here, the Rockies, we're going to have to get there as fast as possible. Because if we don't, because uh, California is just going to eat it all. 
Alright, but we're at peace, so let's see if we can get this alliance. I don't think so. Nah, it's that great power problem again. Damn it. But what we can do is build some more trade ships. Actually, how close are... Oh, did we get... Did we unlock the new ships? We did! We unlocked the new ships. We're at Tech 19. We finally have frigates. Beautiful. Give me some of those frigates, baby. 40 more frigates. I love it. And I guess we'll lock a diplomat on France for a little while, because we need some better relations. Hmm. Yeah. Get him back over 100 if we can. God, it's so scary having this problem, you know? And now that we have a direct border, it's even scarier. And when uh, Louis comes to the throne, his opinion of us could just drop, right? If he takes a mission to eat our face, we'll be fucked. So let's hope that doesn't happen, because he's friendly right now. He trusts us, right? Yeah, trust Netherlands otherly. And thanks for resubscribing, Aranator. Welcome back. Okay, we got our CB on Malacca. I might as well go eat it right now. There's no reason to wait. Since we can't get our alliance with uh, Brandenburg right now, I might as well just go eat Malacca. Do I have a CB, or do I have a claim on here? Nope. Should I claim this? Um, nah, I'll just declare. Just go eat his face. Take your capital, and I'll be done. Build ships in Africa with a long coastline? That's a good point. Um, I think it takes longer to build there, though, because it's 75% uh, autonomy, minimum. Does autonomy affect build time? I thought it did, but maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Two hundred seventy-five days for a trade ship. Seems like a long time. All right, eat his face. Nom nom. Nom nom face. We took over the siege at 49%. I love it. Ah, ah, ah. Coin flip. Twitch chat's agreeing with me that it does affect build time. Good. Well, it looks like I'm actually right about something for a change. That's good. It's unusual, but good. Doing a pretty good job of converting this shit to reformed as well. Oh my god, we failed so much that it's at 84%, and it failed at 84! Are you kidding? How many times can we fail this shit? There we go. Alright, now how much do you value your capital? I totally won, fair and square. Oh, he'll just give it away, he's like, fuck it, you can have it. Well, that's awfully nice of you. Yay! Malacca is ours! Important center of trade, anyone? Does that give me an extra merchant? No, it doesn't. Brunei. Okay, we're gonna have to go eat Brunei. That's what it comes down to. That's what it boils down to, is Brunei must die. So we're gonna fabricate all over this son of a bitch. We're gonna go eat his face. Nom 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 face. I should colonize this island over here so I can fabricate some more. That would be good. And I can also colonize up here. Palawan, fabricate some more. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Fervor points are doing quite well. Our advisors are doing their jobs, which is great. And we still have tons of admin points. Holy shit, do we have a lot of admin points. Hmm... I mean, that's not a bad thing. When's the next idea group coming up? 22. we got a long way to go. I guess that means I'll just do more admin buildings.
Local taxes, 20%. And spy defense, nice. Spy defense in the capital, kind of important. What are the tech of the Navajo? Hmm, does it matter? I'll, I'll go check it out. But I don't think it really matters. The Navajo tech... Tech 8. Oh! Castile and Portugal? Castile and Fez. Fez will be forced to give Castile war operations. Interesting. So Castile technically won the war against Fez, and that was the war against Portugal. So Portugal and Castile are back at peace. They don't have any they don't have their alliance though. And Aragon has just invaded Castile. That's fantastic. Castile who has no allies. When's our truce up? 1643. Damn it, we're seven years away from uh, declaring on Castile. That blows. I'll never be able to fight Tech 8. Well, I don't want to do it just yet, because that's in the um, United Sombreros area. So I kind of want to... Oh, shit. Portugal's colonizing. I kind of want to finish eating the stuff around United Sombreros before I give them lands that's, you know, that far away. Because it would be disconnected. It would be hard for them to manage it. I mean, they probably could handle it, but it'd still be, it'd still be tough. All right, I need to colonize this province. Give me a colonist. This one. Okay. And I need this so I can fabricate on Brunei a little more, a little more effectively. Because from here I can fabricate along this coast. <clears throat> oh shit. Shendonesia has declared on Castilian West Indies. Yes! Get him, Shendonesia. Get him. Sick him. Show him who's boss. Do you need subsidies? Interesting that California has not colonized over here. Very interesting. And weird. But I guess they just they just go slow. They are certainly colonizing, because that name is bigger than it was previously. Belgium, where are you colonizing? Right here? Yep, Potomac. He's almost done, actually. But you know what? We're out of time for this episode today. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. France, unfortunately, is colonized right next to us. And pretty sure he's not going to lose it, because the AI never really gets rebels. Very unfortunate. Um, but them's the breaks. We're halfway through annexing Mali. That'll finish in 14 years. So when that goes away, we will complete our, our uh, achievement for a pile of gold. And from there, we'll have to try to find another couple achievements to do. Uh, I don't know if we're actually going to do any more, but if we do, then great. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Have a good day.